Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you a really easy way to check for 4K, HDR and also spatial audio on your Xbox One. So in this video I'm using a 4K HDR TV and I'm using an Xbox One X. So I am going to be able to check all three, HDR, 4K and spatial audio. If you're using just the original Xbox One then you're only going to be able to check for spatial audio and if you're using the Xbox One S you're only going to be able to check for spatial audio and HDR as long as your TV does support HDR. Now you might be wondering why would you want to do this? Well it's just basically a demo to show the differences of having these features turned on and turned off. So you might have a bit of buyer's remorse if you've just spent over a thousand pound or 450 pound on the Xbox One X and you want to feel better that these things do make a difference. Or you might be trying to persuade your partner that it wasn't a waste of money spending a thousand pound on that TV and you want to prove to him or her that these things do make a difference. Now if you were just to go into a game that's native 4K, for example like Forza Motorsport 7 and then show them then go into a different game, it's not really a true comparison because they're going to be like, oh, well, you know, well, it looks different because it's a different game or it's a different movie. But with downloading this demo, you will be able to show them in real time, this happens in real time, the difference between 4K on and off, HDR on and off, and also spatial audio on and off. And it makes it a lot easier to basically demonstrate the differences. Right, so what we need to do is we need to download a game or a demo called Insects. So you need to go to the store and you just need to go down to search and type in insects. Right, so this is what it's called, this is the one you want to download. Now I've already done this, it's a small file, it's only about two gigabytes so it's not going to take up much storage. So before we go to play just make sure that you have got your headphones plugged into your controller because we want to check the spatial audio or if you're using the headphones that go into the optical port on the Xbox make sure that they're plugged in. Now when you go to do this if you haven't got the options for example if you're on a 4K HDR TV and use an Xbox One X and you haven't got the option to toggle them on and off it means that something's not set up properly or you've started the demo without having this plugged in. If I was to start the demo like that then I'm not going to be able to do the spatial audio because I haven't got the headphones plugged into it or it could mean that you haven't got the settings done properly and at the end of the video I'm going to show you quickly how to make sure that you've got all those things enabled via the settings. Right so we're just going to go to play. Now I'm filming this in 1080p so you're not going to get the benefits of 4K or the HDR so you're really going to have to do this yourself to see the true benefits. You will see a bit of a difference but when it comes to your own eyes on your own 4K TV with HDR you will see a big difference rather than going through the YouTube video. Right now if you have a look here this is just a demo that goes on for just over one minute and it allows you to toggle on and off the different things in the corner here. So if you look down here I've got the option to toggle on and off 4K, I've got the option to toggle on and off HDR and I've got the option to toggle on, on and off spatial audio. Now as well as that you can do loads of things like for example you can pause the demo and you can set different things up. So let's say now if I was just to pause it here now if I was to hit the left bumper here, you can see now it's gone to HDR on and HDR off. So there's a split screen. So now you'd be able to visually tell the difference or show somebody else the difference between the left and the right. If I was to go to that one there, it highlights, so if I press left bumper again, it highlights the HDR. So you can see up here, this is where HDR is taking effect. And then if I press left bumper again, it would change to highlight wide color gamut. And then if you press it again, it turns to off. Likewise with the spatial audio. So right now spatial audio is on. If I was to turn it off and just take it off pause, this would just be normal, just like you've plugged in normal headphones into it. By turning on spatial audio, as long as you've got Windows Sonic for headphones or the Dolby Atmos enabled on your Xbox One, now you should be able to hear a difference in your headphones. So when the ladybugs fly above or below you, you should hear more elevational sound coming out from here. You can manually turn on and off HDR here, so this is off, this is on, off, on, and again the 4K you can manually turn on and off with the X there. Just by pressing up and down you can vary these things and then doing right and left on your D-pad you can change the different settings on it. And you can change it to nighttime. time. 
So for example, if you wanted to check out the HDR, you could look at the moon and it should be more vibrant, more brighter on HDR. And also you can change the colour of the flowers as well. So let's put that on pause there. You can see there I'm changing all the colours. Right, so let's zoom right into his eyes and turn the 4K off. So that's off, and that's on. So can you see the detail when the 4K is on? And remember, this is only filmed in 1080p, so with my own eyes, it looks better again. So there you go, that's the best way to check easily, well it's the easiest way to check for 4K HDR spatial audio. Microsoft has done this to show off these features. So it's gonna be slightly more biased than for example, just playing Forza Motorsport 7. But it's very hard to check these things because by the time you've gone out to change the settings and stuff, by the time you go back in again, your eyes have already adjusted. So by doing this, it's a really easy way of just check, quickly checking between 4K and HDR and also the spatial audio as well. So give it a go, it's free, it doesn't cost anything. Right, now I'm gonna show you what to do if some of these are not on at the corner. So like I said before, if you're using Xbox One S, you're only gonna have the bottom two, the yellow and the red. If you're using the Xbox One, you're only gonna have the red. But on the Xbox One X, as long as you're connected to a 4K HDR TV, you should have all three. And I'm just gonna quickly show you what happens if you haven't got all three. Right, so we're back on the homepage now and we want to go into settings. Right, so I've gone into settings now and on the left hand side you want to go down to display and sound and let's do the audio to begin with. You want to go to audio output and we're going to press A. Now if you have a look here it says headset format. It will be by default that. You want to change it to either Windows Sonic for headphones which is free or Dolby Atmos for headphones. Now, to do Dolby Atmos for headphones, you are gonna to have to download the app. You get a month's free trial, so you can check it out for free, and then if you wanna to continue to use it after that, you pay a one-off fee of approximately $15. I think it's like £13.89 or something in the UK, but it's only a one-off fee. You don't have to pay that every single month. It's just like buying an app. You buy it once, and that's it. So, you can do that, or good thing about Dolby Atmos is that it is also enabled in a few, not many, but a handful of Netflix movies as well. So uh, that's the good thing about Dolby Atmos. But if you just want to test it out just to begin with, just do Windows Sonic for headphones because it's free and it only means clicking one button. Now, if you're plugging your headset into the controller here, that's all you have to do. But if, for example, you were going to be using something like the Astro A50s and you're going to be plugging it into the optical connection in the actual Xbox One X, then you're going to have to go down to here and you're going to have to tick that button here. And that there says using HDMI or optical audio headset. The good thing about it is it makes very cheap stereo headphones like this sound pretty much as good as expensive headphones like that. Now, right now we're going to press B to get out of that and now we're going to go up to video output and we're going to press A. And now we need to double check that it is on 4K. So make sure on the left hand side there that it is on 4K. Obviously if you have a 4K TV, otherwise you're not gonna have the option to do it. That's 4K. And now we're gonna go down to advanced video settings and we're gonna go to 4K TV details. You can see here I've got all these boxes checked. I'm gonna to go to 4K TV details and you can see now I've got green ticks across the board. So I know now that I have got 4K and HDR, hence the reason why when I did insects, the demo, that I was able to toggle them on and off. Now, if you're having a problem with HDR, you've got to make sure that your TV, A, supports HDR, but also, secondly, that you're in the correct HDMI input. Because on this TV here, there's three HDMI inputs at the back, but only input one allows HDR. So, for example, what you want to do is you also have to turn it on on your TV as well. So, on this one here, I'm going to go to settings. This is a Samsung TV. It's going to be called different things on different TVs. And I'm going to go across on picture, and I'm going to go down to expert settings. Press enter. And on this one, they don't call it HDR. They call it HDMI UHD color. And if I go into that, you can see on HDMI, it is turned on. If it was turned off then I'm not going to be able to display insects in HDR. Okay, so let me go back in there and turn that on. 
For me, I cannot turn it on on HDMI 2 or 3, but your one will vary. It might only work on HDMI 4 on your ones, or it might work on all the ports, but often you will have to enable it yourself, and that's not just with Samsung TVs, that will be on other TVs as well. So there you go, that's how you, A, check for 4K, HDR, and spatial audio, and secondly, how you can actually make sure that you have got those settings enabled. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully when you do it yourself, you will see the real benefits. Please just don't go by the effects in this video because you're not watching it in 4K and you're not getting HDR on it either. So do it yourself and see what you think. If you've noticed a big difference, please put it down in the comments below and it will help other people out. Even if you're doing it on a 1080p TV, you should still notice a nice difference with the super sampling as well. So please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.